We begin with the developing story tonight in Leicester. A plane crash in the woods and all three people on board survived. Snowmobilers heard the crash and raced in to help. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. Firefighters say their help made a huge difference. Nick Emmons is in Leicester tonight with some of the rescuers. Yeah, it really is amazing. Everyone survived this crash. That plane went down in a remote area, essentially only accessible by snowmobile. It's definitely total. It's a surprise anybody lived. Three people lucky to be alive after their plane went down in this snowy field. It, it definitely could have been a lot worse. Um, fortunately, it happened in a remote area. It's, a, it's a pretty much a wide open field. But Lester's fire chief says getting to the plane was a challenge for rescuers. It was at the top of a hill with more than a foot of snow on the ground. By the time they got up to, to the wreckage, they were spent. They were tired. Walk, I mean, they're walking through snow drifts up there up to their knees. Luckily, some snowmobilers were in the area. We saw the uh, police cruisers going by. I called my son Mitch. He said a plane went down. So I said, well, we better get up there and check it out. We saw like a normal plane, thought it was low, and then it just disappeared, and then we heard a bang. The group was able to help firefighters find the wreckage in the pitch black and get rescue equipment to two injured passengers and a dog. We put him on the sled. We put another person in a, in a stretcher. We got him down. Uh, we brought another woman down with their poodle. A third person managed to walk away from the mangled plane on their own. Firefighters say if it wasn't for these snowmobilers being in the right place at the right time, the rescue would have taken much longer in below freezing temperatures. Thank God for the snowmobilers that were in the area that, that helped us out. And the fire chief says the FAA will now investigate to determine what went wrong. Here in Leicester, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News.